Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss two more text functions in Power BI called as upper and lower. Let's look at the definition and the syntax and then try to implement it in PBA with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax. Converts all letter in a text string to a lower case. So we have the syntax here, lower and the text. So it has only one parameter and return value text in lower case. So the upper function is similar to the lower, but only difference is we have to use upper. And again, it takes some one parameter that is the text. And return value is the same text in upper case. So let's go to PBI and I'm gonna show you three ways to do this, okay? Using query editor and a column and also as a measure. Let's quickly go to PBI. So I have this sample data set in PBI. It has customer ID, title, first name, and last name. So now let's use a Power Query Editor and then try to change the first name into a lowercase and then uppercase. So what I'm gonna do is right click on the first name here and then have Edit Query. So click on that. So it opens a Power Query Editor. And then again, right click on the first name and transform and click on lowercase. So now, as you can see, it changed to a lowercase. Similarly, we can do the same thing for last name and convert this into uppercase. Right click, transform, and uppercase. And now, close and apply. Give it a second. Still running. Okay, so now if you notice here, it has first name, which is in lowercase and the last name, which we changed to uppercase. So if you want to convert this back, you can right click here. If you want to undo this changes, click on edit query. And then on the applied steps, just remove this. And then close and apply. So give it a few seconds. And you will notice this changes back to the original format. And it's still, still running. And now if you notice here, it has changed back to its original format. Okay, so this is one of the way to do. And I'll show you another way. So I'll go back to the report here and then I'll try to create it in this table. So I have a table, so I want to change this first name. So using a column, I'm right click and click on new column here. So this is the second way to do this. So I'm, I'm gonna call this as lower, lower case. I'll just I'll keep it simple, lower. And then first name equal to lower fact first name. So now if I bring this here, I should be getting this in lowercase. So similarly, I can do the same thing for uppercase. Call this as upper first name equal to use upper function and then fact first name. So if I bring this here, it should be in uppercase. So now it's using a column, new column. So let's suppose someone wants to do this in a measure. Due to some reason, they want to bring this as a measure. So right click and create a new measure. Let's try with the lower first. Lower 
first name. I'll call this as a measure equal to, again, still I'm gonna use this lower, but I'm gonna use max function here because the lower takes one text as an input. So I need to use a max function, which gives me a one value per record. So I'm gonna use first name, fact first name, hit enter. And if you notice, it's now it's a measure. So bring this to the values. So I can do the same thing with uppercase as well. Right click, upper, first name equal to use upper. And again, I'm gonna use max function and fact first name, hit enter. So now I have it as a measure. So this is how we can use lower and uppercase in PBA. So I showed you three methods. One is using the Power Query Editor, second one by creating a new column, and third one by using measure. Hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please drop me a note in the comment section. I'll revert back to you, okay? Thanks for watching, have a great day.